Every now and then when I look up at the sky I can see a kookaburra fly I begin to daydream, think about my wingspan Just sun around the globes, so everywhere I go it's summertime Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Bando. I've just got a bit of a video for our recap of our Clash Live Melbourne event that we did on the 7th of October. I'm a week late, it's taking a little bit of time catching up, setting into the new area I am so I can get recording. But um, awesome event, we had 20 people over the day turn up. Um, it was nice to get a slight growth there. Uh, we did actually have six people from our previous Clash Live Sydney, and that was uh, people coming in from Perth. We had two of us fly from Perth. There was a couple of people flew from Sydney, and um, some people drove in from the ACT. So on top of that, all the live people. Some some people didn't know about it, and uh, they turned up on the day, got a hold of us. We definitely do need to make sure next time we advertise it a bit more. But uh, we did do some stubby holders. On the day, we had 30 to start off with. I ended up with about 8 or 10 left over. So hopefully I can flog those off next time. They were uh, 10 bucks each. And um, yeah, it was a very good. We started it at Bar Tronica in the city. It's a, um, it's a, a gaming um, arcade pub and uh, really, really good fun. So they had quite a big area, lots of uh, booths with Nintendo 64s and a variety of games, and then also the old arcade games. And uh, we don't have that kind of thing in WA, and I just really love it. It was a great environment to start off with. We ended up moving out towards the back area where we could stream comfortably, get our low live war going and all of that. So we actually did do a live war and Supercell got on board. I managed to speak with Marika from Supercell and they actually put up three vouchers, 150 euro each. And that's going to be for the store. I'll uh, let know of who they're for. But um, I don't have any actual footage from the war. It was a 15 versus 15. It was FPC down under versus down under. Rorak did stream it, so you can well and truly go and check out his stream and see that. You'll see people floating around in and out of the uh, the streaming, but uh, really, really good fun to do it live. We did a 15-minute prep, two-hour war. We've ne I've, I've never participated in such a short-end war, and it was really, really good fun. Also worth mentioning was the girls did manage to uh, do up a box for Breast Awareness Month. You'll notice the clans have gone pink at the moment, the ACA, and uh, Judd's Mrs. Kimmy, thanks for doing the box. Um, and there were several girls that helped run it around. And um, in an environment where people are putting $1 coins into a machine, people still put some loose change into the box, and we ended up with about $100 to donate towards that. So that worked really well. Uh, the event clan, FPC Down Under, we went down in the live war by uh, one star and a bit of percentage, but uh, really, really good fun to actually get out there. Um, we played some foos table. We played plenty of arcade games as well to go with it. Um... And the night sort of kicked on from there. I know I got back to my room about 3, 4 o'clock in the morning after everything. So it definitely didn't drink as much as last time, but um, definitely good fun on the side. So the three people getting the vouchers will be 88. She used uh, one of my spare Town Hall 9s on the day on my little phone uh, as her accounts were saved in a war. Um, it would also be Sparky. He hit a six-pack and Mark Collin from Down Under. So uh, well done, guys. Thank you very much to Supercell to support it. Looking at the webpage, just to have a bit of an idea on what was there to buy, and they've got figures, T-shirts, plush toys, all kinds of stuff. And it's not that I'm trying to flog it off, but actually they didn't have to give us anything for it. All I was after was a bit of a tweet maybe or something like that. But um, instead they've ponied up three big vouchers, and uh, that is absolutely awesome fun. So um, definitely good fun on the day. I uh, hope you guys all had a bit of a laugh, good crack, and uh, let's have a look at maybe doing a Brisbane in 2018. So uh, that's about all for me. I had a great time.